it's so bad after like i literally just have to scrap this away Welcome to another video. If you don't know me, my name is Laika and I make art and design related videos to help you in your creative journey. I'm pretty sure you've seen these anime glass paintings all over social media. Well, I've tried them and I made some mistakes along the way and here I am sharing 10 things I wish I learned before starting glass paintings. Be sure to watch until the end of the video because the last tip is my most favorite one and the best one that I could offer. Without further ado, let's get started. So as for my first tip, it's to buy cheap acrylic paint. So the ones that I use for my glass paintings right now are these ones that I got from the dollar store. Reason being is because with glass paintings, you don't really need some expensive one because it's really quantity over quality. Because with glass paintings, if you put the painting on a bright light, you're actually gonna see the transparency through it if you don't put a lot of layers. So that's why quantity is really more important than quality because it all dries out the same way in the end anyway. So the next tip that I have is to buy really thin brushes because when I first started glass painting, I only have a um, not super thin, just normal thin <laughs> type of paint brushes and it was really difficult for me to get into the details such as the shadows and the highlights. So the one that I use right now for most of the time are these ones. They're very, they're very overused but as you can see, they're as thin as this. This one is just not formed properly but it goes really thin once I use it. So for the third tip that I have is not to use markers such as Sharpie or some oil-based marker because it really do smudge. And by that, I mean like this. So this one was a scrap glass painting, so please don't be shocked. Um, so it's this one. It's the Imagine Boo one that I did on my Instagram. And as you can see, I used this marker for this painting and it's so bad after. Like I literally just have to scrap this away and make a whole new one because it's so bad like if you could see over here closely uh, like you could see some cracks in the actual marker as soon as i put a, um, a layer of paint on top of it so what i would recommend instead is to have paint pens the one that i use basically are these ones this one is from craft smart just a regular black paint pen and this one is from sharpie and this one is the extra fine point one that i use for the details basically like the really thin lines and all of that so for the next tip that i have is to print swatches and by that i mean like this one so this one, as you can see, I printed some swatches over here that will match what color I want on this puppy. <laughs> and as you can see on my original reference over here, the color that's over here matches the swatches over here. And basically what I do is I try to mix paint and I basically get as close as possible to the swatches. And then that's what I use to paint this actual painting. And I do this because, first of all, it saves so much time. I think the hardest part into starting glass paintings is to color match because you have to be right. And I do this because glass painting is reverse painting, meaning if you make a few mistakes on the first few layers, it's gonna be so hard to fix it after. And second is because with color matching, if you just try to eyeball it just like I did on this one, there could be some discrepancies and your color is not gonna be 100% accurate as to what you want it to be. So print your swatches along with your reference. And adding on to that tip is to always double check your glass painting. What I mean by that is when you're painting from the back, don't just stay on the back. Like always try and double check if the front looks good too. Because what happened in one of my glass paintings, my few glass paintings from before is I kept on focusing on the back and then when I double checked it on the front, I realized that it didn't match well or like something was wrong in the first few layers. And like I said from the earlier tips, reverse painting, so if you make a mistake in the first few layers, then it's really hard to fix it. So always double check and make sure that the actual painting looks good before you continue. By the way, if you're enjoying this video so far and this is helping you learn new tips, please do give it a like and do subscribe to my channel. That would really help me a lot. And for the next tip that I have, 
would be to outline your references. And so for that, this will be the best example as to what I'm referring to. As you can see over here, I outlined the parts where I need to put the markers in. And then this thin lines that I have over here is where the shadow is going to go. So I just find this easier than printing something like this. Like this one was my very first one. And as you can see, the shadows are like all over here. Like the shade designs it. However, I find that having this type of reference makes it very, very easier. I just like how clean it is and how easy it is to follow when I start painting already. And yeah, I just wish that I learned that earlier. But it really does save a lot of time. Like you could see where the shadow is gonna land right away. It's very easy to follow as well. It's just like coloring book. It. And just a quick side note on how I do that, by the way, is I have a digital tab with me, so I think that makes it easier for me at least. But what I do, I just basically outline everything and then just outline where the shadows are gonna go, basically. <laughs> and yeah, I hope you guys find that helpful. So the next thing that I wish I knew before starting glass painting is that it's not easy and it takes so much time. When I first saw this on TikTok, I was like, oh! So you basically just outline it, put the paint on the back, let it dry, and you're good to go. But then I just realized it's not that easy at all and it takes so much time. The first time that I did it was with this one, with Poodle, and it took me like six hours at least. And then I think it took me another two hours just to like make sure it's all good and clean just because I'm a little bit of a perfectionist myself. But yeah, depending on your reference, it could take at least four to eight hours so just keep that in mind not an easy thing to do and if you want to do it all in one go have six to eight hours to spare at least also if you're planning to do commissions for it keep that time in mind and knowing that it takes six to eight hours to complete a glass painting i wish i knew this before but low dryer is your friend because with glass paintings it's quite hard to paint another coat on top of a wet it's either gonna smudge your paint or it's gonna ruin it completely so you gotta make sure that it's all dry before you add another coat on top of it and speaking of coating another thing that i wish i knew before i started glass painting is to double coat even your outlines and it's very important to start with this one because it is your base and i'm just gonna use this matching blue scrap that i did again before basically as you can see i didn't get to double coat the outlines that's why when i put a uh, pink paint on top of it then the pink paint kind of like goes through it Instead of it being a black, black type of outline, it kind of looks a little bit grayish, like a lightish gray because of the pink paint on the background. Make sure to double coat your outlines as well. See if any light passes through it. And if you don't see any light, then you're good to go. <laughs> and finally, for my last tip, this one is my favorite. I wish I learned this earlier. It would have saved me a lot of acrylics and it would have been so convenient. So basically what I did before is only to use this type of palette. But I learned this one is not the most effective one to use when you're doing glass paintings. Instead, you gotta use one of these. It's called Paint Pots. And basically what it does is it stores your paint, whatever shade you mix in there, and it will keep it wet. Because remember how I told you that glass painting takes 4 or 6 to 8 hours to finish? Or like few minutes just to completely dry off before you start a new coat again? Well by that time that you finish waiting for that long, your paint, acrylic paint, is most likely gonna be dry as well. So like I said, this Paint Pots really save your acrylic paints, your materials, because it doesn't let it dry easily as you can see over here my white paint is still not dry and it's still usable for the next glass paint that i need to do and yeah i have a lot of this actually but yeah these ones are a lifesaver <laughs> for this one i got this from michael's if you don't have ones use some old containers that you can find in the house or like even something like this basically anything that will help you store your paint and yeah that's basically it for 10 things that I wish I knew before I started glass painting. And let me know in the comments what video you want me to do next and what are things that you wish you knew personally before you started glass painting. I would love to hear it. And until the next video, I hope that helps. Bye!